Hey, hey, what's up guys? Brandon here again. So, today we got some special stuff going on. We got a couple packages right here. Classic Industries and AMS oil. You know, car burns oil sometimes, I gotta order more oil. And uh, Classic Industry, because I got some parts missing from my car and some things broke when I went to a recent car meet. So, let me show you guys what broke. And let me show you guys what I bought that I'm gonna have that I'm gonna need. So in the car, I have let me put down the, the second screen so I can see what I'm doing. I got no glove box. No bueno. No bueno. And then I have gloves. No glove box. Gloves. No glove box. Gotta get myself a freaking glove box, you know what I'm saying? And let me else, let me show you guys what else what broke. I was pissed off. I was like, "Come on, man, are you serious?" So this is what broke, guys. <clears throat> so on the back, where you stick your the keyhole for the trunk, shoots uh, sticks out right here, so you can stick the key inside. And look at that, guys. American-made things. I don't know if this was original, but if this was. I don't know what the hell happened guys. These things are freaking sturdy as heck and both just snapped off. So it's this piece. And then here's the gasket that goes on top. And then finally the mechanism itself. With this piece right here that uh actually goes into a hole. So when you stick the key in and turn, the whole mech the this mechanism inside turns turns this as well and then turns the whole mechanism inside the trunk to release the latch so so that that's what broke guys and um, I'm gonna show you what some what kind of ghetto stuff I have to do to open it right here guys this is what it takes so there's the hole you guys can't see it, but maybe you guys can. No, I can't even see it. So you go inside here, and now it's it's secure. Then keep twisting it. Bring. It opens up finally. So all that mechanical stuff happens right there. See? Stick a screwdriver in. It touches that hole inside. As you can see, the whole thing turns. Anyways, that's not important. What is important is that I have to head to Home Depot after we're doing this unboxing. And uh, yeah, let me show you all the stuff we got. All right, guys. It's freaking hot out here. My balls are already sticking. It's not good. It's not good. For all the girls out there wondering, you know, what's it like, you know, to have all that stuff not fun just a piece of meat sticking to your thighs but anyways we're gonna get into the un unboxing of all the stuff that I bought super excited I may not look like I'm excited guys I'm sorry it's just how my face is you know so handy dandy knife Mm, just what I ordered. Ten W thirty Z Rock. And next, you guys can't read it, huh? Classic Industries. That's right. So let's see. Dang. There it is. There's the gasket I was talking about, which is uh, right there. Fresh gasket. I probably didn't need it, but the other one had cracks on it, and I don't want that. Oh, yes. Bubble wrap. Mm. Love bubble wrap. And lastly, this is the chrome piece, which is right there.
So yeah, gasket. Mmm, this is the piece. Wow, what the hell got on my face? There she is right there, guys. See, as you can tell. They broke off. And lastly, the glove box. Now for my year guys, whoever you know has a 70, 73, there's a glove box that comes for air conditioning cars that are factory and there's ones that don't. So just let you guys know. What the heck? Well, it's not like your average glove box today, guys. This literally is made out of cardboard. I'm not joking. It's made out of it's cardboard. It even has staples all over it. Like, look at this. My, I have a pretty big head. It's, it's, it's not that big, guys. It's literally the definition of a glove box. It's crazy. This was, this was the stuff back in the days, guys. It's pretty crazy. It even says right there. It focuses Chevrolet. It says the years up there, 1970 to 81. Dang, could you imagine having a glove box this big, guys, for today's age? Lord Jesus, I know people who like stick so much stuff in there. Their Bible and everything, and it's just like. Whew. Anyways, we got all this stuff. Now, I'm gonna try and install this glove box first so I can move some of my stuff in the console in the middle console and make it free so yeah okay I'm in the passenger seat as you can tell no glove box don't even know how this goes in guys I'm being freaking honest I don't know how this even works this car was even was born before me so This is gonna be harder than it is, seems, guys. God damn it! Like I said, guys, if it's one, it's not one thing; it's another. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to figure it out. Probably gonna have to Google. Google's your best friend, guys, all the time. So, highly recommend her or him, it, whatever you want to call him. God damn it! It's so hot. Okay guys, it's been like what, an hour or two? I've been fussing with it, I had to call Classic Industries and uh, they told me to YouTube how to remove a heater core. I didn't find anything for my year, especially with factory AC. A lot of the other ones were worth with AC and there's two different kind of glove uh, compartments that um, involve, you know, with AC and without, but I think I got it in. It's, uh, it's pretty sturdy, but uh, let's take a look. So this is it. I think this is uh finishes in properly. It feels it feels sturdy. Look at this. you guys can see I'm jiggling it. It feels sturdy. I don't know. F it right. It it looks like it works. It feels sturdy. It feels better than when I was used to doing it, but whatever. So guys. Three hours to install a glove box. Three freaking hours to install a freaking glove box. Now, we're gonna have to go install the chrome piece now. 
the chrome piece for my trunk, which is right there. It's gonna be interesting because there's no threads. Either gonna make my own threads or find some kind of nut that uh, just holds it in place. So we'll see what happens. Yo, what is up, you guys? Little continuation of the the vlog. It's the next day. So scratch the whole. I had to make my own threads with uh, some ghetto ass, you know, um, set you can buy from, you know, your local hardware store or whatever. But in actual reality, my dad said that I actually have to go to a special place called King Bolt. Now, King Bolt sells, they're the king of the bolts. They sell unique bolts, all shapes and sizes, things that you probably have most likely never seen and go, what the heck is that used for? And they're out there. So, what we have to get today, guys, is something made for, kind of by for classic cars. So, all these emblems that classic cars use, they all have the same kind of uh, standing points like how, how, how I do. You know, there's there's no threads being made, so you have to make them your own. So, with these right here, if I can get the camera going, these have little, uh, you know, blades inside. And so, when you start sc screwing them in, they actually will make their own threads. So, we have to look for some of these at King Bolt. Hopefully, they have some. So, we can put the... Then my new piece on my car, which is this chrome cap right here for uh, the key, uh, the keyhole for the trunk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna undo one. If I can find the one, I can undo. Here it is. See, special kind of bolt. It makes its own threads, as you can see. That's the one I just took it off. If it can focus, focus, god damn it. Whatever, it likes my finger. So we gotta get one of these guys to fit this. It's about a 15 minute drive. It's 15 minutes of fun with my car. She's asleep. She needs to wake up because I got things to do, so. It is freaking hot in here. And I now have no AC. Thank you, previous owners. Thank you, but here's a cold start. Oh, forgot. If you have no choke on your carburetor, you gotta press the gas a couple times. There we go. Let's see this. I know it sounds a little bit different, guys, but I've read on forums that you want to have it idling by six, 600 and the glove box looks freaking sick, complete, but could you believe they had something like that back in the 70s guys? Literally, cardboard and look at that, my registration gloves barely fit in there. But then again, that's why it's called the glove box. Rest in peace, raccoon. Rest in peace. Sorry to tell you how to go. Poor thing. Okay, well, we're here at King Bolt. Um, I don't know if I can record inside, but I'm not even gonna chance it, but um, we're gonna see if they have the proper screws for us, so I'll show you guys after, all right? Well, guys, it was a success. Got a couple bolt uh, 
nut variations. You know, the guy was telling me, you know, just try all these. They're like 20 cents a piece, so it's a dollar fifty-five all together. You know, we're gonna go home right now. We're gonna try them out, and uh, we'll show you. Uh, let's gonna see what happens. All right, guys. Let me show you the type of bolts or um, nuts they gave me. Okay. So. Sheet is not important. So as you can see, they gave me a couple of bolts. Is these these uh pairs of threes right here? They all cost me uh sorry pairs three sets of twos. God dang, it's too hot, guys. Let's get started, and that then my car will be complete and uh, it'll be good. I have two hands. Hopefully that stays. Hold on, I gotta find the actual freaking size for this. So, let me take this off. Seven sixteenths extender on the socket to get more leverage, and we're gonna get started. Just like that guys. Oh my back. Oh my lord. Oh fuck. Okay, so as you guys can see when I turn it, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but like that piece that looked like a I don't know how to describe it, like a half moon. See how it's over those springs or the whole coil so it doesn't pop out. So now it just everything flows as you can see. See, when I turn that piece, the whole mechanism works. And, look at that. It's a success, but now, drum roll please. I think it sound like a drum roll, man. It sound like a freaking BRZ or Subaru. So, and just like that, guys. What a success. I'm sweating balls already. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I know it's really long, but hey, this is, I keep it real, this is how long stuff takes. You know, you run into errors and problems and I wanna show you guys what can happen when you don't really prep for the future and you know, you go through all this crap. So, like and subscribe if you guys like this stuff. Hope you guys like my car more than me, I don't care. I would, I would too if I was from your guys' shoes. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.